Hello everybody, it's Excalibur, and welcome back to my office. Uh, it's a little crowded in here these days, because I keep accumulating things that I'm going to be unboxing and all that. Um, today, uh, we're going to be looking at an accessory for my little camera here. Um, in case anybody wants to know, it is a Vixia HFR500 from Canon. Open it up here. Let's turn turn this puppy off. We don't need it on. There we go. It's got a a variable tilt viewfinder. It's very nicely laid out. We have our SD card slot, our power. That's where we hit play. We've got a USB port. We've got HDMI, um, audio, video in, and headset. Um, it's got a very nice mic, battery pack, uh, and uh, there's our lovely um, shutter opener. But we've got our zoom and everything on top. It's a very, very nice camera. It does 1080p. Uh, the 64 gig SD card I have in there allows me to do 1080p, 60 frames per second video um, at about four hours. So uh, to do a full four hour recording, I have to have it plugged in. Uh, one of my major issues is, uh, let's see if I can find it in here. I've set it down, and uh, I've set it down in a place that I forget where I set it down at. Um, but it do, where did I put it? Well, I've got a Targus tripod, which I can't seem to find right now. Um, I was uh, looking at it quite a bit. Uh, because this is a this is the quick release um, tripod mount that I have for the camera. Well, recently I made a, um, a new purchase, um, and by purchase I mean I traded a bunch of magic cards and uh, um, got an unused mic. We now have. What is this? Uh, an Audio Technica um, cardioid condenser P48 um, AT2020 microphone. Uh, it is a professional level studio microphone that <laughs> I'm really surprised my friend wasn't using, but that's how it is. And uh, I even got a USB adapter for it um, with a uh, high medium low gain. And uh, it's a directional microphone instead of my uh, Blue Snowball, which is an omnidirectional, which picks up sound everywhere. Uh, this does have a back and a front. So if I'm in a noisy environment, just point the front to you, and you're going to get um, uh, a much better sound quality. So recording in an FLGS is going to be a lot better, a lot easier to do. Uh, I also uh, picked up. Uh, two Mogami um, mic cables which is another really awesomeness uh, plus another pop filter which uh, of course I've got one over here on uh, my blue snowball but this one will uh, hook up to the other mic what am I looking for? I am looking for the last thing. So let's go ahead and grab that. Um, and the last bit is this handy dandy boom arm. It's a uh, telescope, yeah, telescoping, and uh, it gets up there pretty high. I'm not going to do it because the ceiling fan is going, trying to keep me cool. Um, the only problem is we've got this nice big connector here with. Uh, the tiny little screw adapter there. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I searched high and low, high and low, high and low for um, a tripod mount that would work with this. And I couldn't find one. I couldn't find one. Um, I looked for things that people brought, bought with their Canon and that wasn't around. So I sat there and I said, well, this is a DR Pro. Um, let's see if this is on Amazon. I found it 
immediately. And I said, okay, well, let, let's see if there's a camera mount for this. And lo and behold, I have this a day later. Open this up. And it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. But there we go. We're going to see if this works. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open this bad boy up. Come on, bad boy. Now, this is a ball mount. So it swivels and it can go anywhere. And you just tighten it with this little block right there and then it's nice and steady um, we're going to see if this fits in the camera uh, let's hope and pray it does all right so look at there One of the big stumbling blocks to having a tripod is when you're recording, I can only go like at that angle. But it looks like, if I am lucky, and I am, I am a very, very lucky person right now. Get this nice and tight. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Now I've got a boom arm, which is very nice, and I can record straight down over top of the table. What does that mean? Well, that means that this telescoping boom arm can go over the middle of the table and with my camera record everything that's going on straight down so now I can record matches I can record um, what else can I record I can record matches board games and a whole bunch of other things which makes me very, very, very happy. And on top of that, um, I am going to be able to do a lot of things besides just board games and stuff like that. The only other thing I could think of is getting an extender to uh, go over bigger tables, but I don't think I'll need that. The tables we use are large enough for uh, board games and stuff. And also, I can use this as a tripod to do as I need. Huh. When I first started this, I did not think I'd be getting into this kind of production. But if we look at this here, we can actually get this guy and do some really, really cool shots. We can pan and everything like that. Um, we can extend it and then do stuff like this. Nice and smooth. It has got enough tension. The camera is light enough that it's not going to pull down. Um, I was looking at a weighted, uh, well, a weighted tripod, a, a weighted boom arm that would do the same thing that I'm doing here. But uh, as luck would have it. Um, my friend Dave, who I did the trade with, uh, had the boom arm and everything. He used it for the mic, which we have the mic adapter right here. I put it on top of the blue snowball tripod. Ooh, some dust. Um, so if I want to, I can put the mic out there instead of this. But this is mainly for recording um, video over top tables. And the fact that I can sit there and do that either straight down, this would be ugly, but uh, a whole bunch of things have now become available, um, which I didn't have before. And the main thing is I will be able 
to do even better over the shoulder shots and everything because I don't have to worry about a tripod sitting right here as I'm trying to work around it um, I can now have this telescoping up behind me um, so if we set this here I've got to be careful I don't have it really deployed properly the camera will be up over my shoulder pointing down instead of straight ahead or at a caddy weird angle so my unboxings and everything will have a better um, better shots and everything like that too and uh, my next unboxings will be a couple of games I have um, I'm gonna let those be surprised uh, they are sitting behind me be a surprise not be surprised so uh, we are going to be very very happy very very soon um, I am going to be getting a review copy of a game and I will be playing it and doing it over the shoulder and a whole bunch of other things uh, I believe my friend is going to be very happy with the quality uh, especially this camera is able to pull off the shots and the high quality filming that I need for stuff like that so the next phase of my channel is about to begin and that was all about um, filming live board games live card games and the like the uh, stuff that I plan on recording with this are and in no particular order we're going to be recording uh, live board game plays. We're going to be recording uh, Magic the Gathering. Ah, come on, come on, let's get all straightened up. We're going to be recording Magic the Gathering Commander and Tiny Leaders and uh, other Magic the Gathering style games. We're going to be um, recording Star Realms um, board games, Magic the Gathering, uh, Dice Masters. Uh, let's see here, Epic, the card game, when I get my hands on it, it should be on its way. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. We can record uh, um, drafts, so I think I can only do four player style games because uh, anything more, I'm going to need a, a second camera, boom arm, and adapter, and I do not have the money for that yet. Um, the kind people who are supporting me on Patreon uh, are making a lot of this happen. Um, I was able to get the Boom Arm and uh, the new mic and stuff because I have a bunch of magic cards that I don't play with and uh, Dave really needed them for his uh, for deck he's building. So now I've got two stable tripods. I've got a tripod and I've got a um, a Boom Arm with which to do recording so I, if I can get myself another Canon or equivalent camera I'll be able to do straight on shots with the tripod and I'll be able to do uh, over the table shots with the boom arm and uh, now I've got a directional mic that can pick up everything that I need to and for podcasts and stuff uh, away from machine I've got my laptop over here which sadly sees um, little to no use so now I have a mobile recording station so I can record audio as I need to I've got to get audacity put on there but once that's done everything is going to be going even better so uh, as soon as I can get some stuff taken care of and uh, um, maybe improve the lighting in my living room or maybe uh, the color of the table uh, get a white tablecloth or a white pad or um, something like that for my dining room table we'll have even better um, uh, recordings of unboxings and stuff because I, I know it's got a little bit of a purplish or reddish tinge to them because the way the the room is painted and everything um, once I can get some better lighting in there I think uh, it'll it'll be pretty cool I could take my little LED light here or another one similar to it and make a, a couple of light boxes but uh, we'll have to see how that goes uh, gonna get into some DIY soon also, because I've got the boom arm and the camera and all that stuff, I can do DIY stuff. Uh, so if you want to see how I do a dice tower, which I'm getting ready to build a dice tower, um, then uh, we'll have that available. Uh, I'm going to be building two dice towers for Dice Masters, uh, simply because seeing people go like this in front of the camera all the time 
is uh, might be a little bit irritating so I'm going to be setting up um, one or two dice towers for people to use uh, while we play Dice Master so uh, we'll see how that goes alright just wanted to do the unboxing of my on stage hand stands video camera adapter it's a CM01 and uh, I got it off of Amazon um, it is what are the um, I forget what the size of the bottom is it's five eight five eighths so it's a five eighths um, right here and it goes to uh, what is it a quarter inch male so a five eighths female to a quarter inch male um, which allows uh, most standard cameras to hook up uh, to the top here it is um, rubber padded on the top here as you can see to uh, protect your camera oh. and uh, um, it's nice and sturdy and heavy gauge steel actually um, inside let's see if I can get a shot in there you can see we've got a compression ring and all that in there um, and this just makes sure that this guy is nice and sturdy uh, you can uh, bend it it's it's a ball joint you can twist it into whatever you need so you can do shots like this to that um, turn it around and you can change it like this so it's a it's a really really nice adapter I'm glad I found it um, for those of you who are searching for similar products uh, don't look for what can fit your camera look for what fits your stand or boom mic or uh, your boom stand or your tripod and that will be helpful for you now I could actually go and now that I have this I could go look for a quick release um, that attaches to the quarter inch and uh, maybe have a quick release mount on there but the Targus uh, um, tripod that I use is uh, it's got a a weird connector on the bottom so we'll have to see what goes on with that alright so that's about it I wanted to show you guys my progress and uh, what's coming up we will be testing out the boom mic soon very very soon I may be uh, um, doing a lunch break uh, commander on and then uh, doing a recording over the table because it tends to be quiet during the lunch time at my FLGS so uh, it may be a, a good time to do some recording I'll have to check and see um, this may also allow me to record all my matches if I get into pre-releases and stuff like that um, but uh, funds are tight so I've got to be careful uh, what tournaments and stuff I go into uh, Friday night um, Magic and uh, that includes EDH and my FLGS um, is a prime candidate for recording because it's 11 o'clock and most people have gone home um, but we'll have to see uh, I think uh, sometime this week I'm going to try recording a commander match and uh, luckily my boom the boom arm has ways to route cables and stuff so I just need to be able to plug in the camera for anything that lasts longer than an hour because of the the battery will probably die on me um, but the way we play we tend to get like two maybe three games in an hour or two so uh, um, should have some good footage at one point or another uh, when we do that so until next time enjoy making videos enjoy playing games please like comment and subscribe uh, if you have any questions about the other equipment that I use uh, let me know and I'll be more than happy to share any system uh, tech specs or whatever that I have and uh, eventually once I get my office cleaned up and presentable because I've got boxes and piles and boxes and boxes and dust everywhere um, it's best to not show that <laughs> some people might say that I'm a filthy pig um, my wife being one of them but uh, I will probably uh, give a tour of my office at some time so you can see where I make these videos with my webcam and uh, where I record video games and stuff. But until next time, 
This is Excalibur, and I am out.